Okay, today from the heavy metal perspective we have the um, Scott Ian Black 13 pedal by uh, Digitech. Um, you don't really see these pedals around anymore, to be honest, I don't know if they actually even still make them. Um, I bought this, geez, nine years ago now, um, I bought myself this as a uh, birthday present for, for my 21st, I bought myself a present. Um, so just quickly, if you can really see it, but oh, let's go to in there. But basically, this is the freaking box that the thing came in. It was this massive, massive box. But um, yeah, a few things. Now it will do a whole bunch of different sounds. These are the type of sounds it's supposed to do. And we'll get to that in a bit. But, um, yeah, so it came in this, like, great big massive box. Put that aside because I'm going to need that. But it also came with, um, I don't know why, came with a little carry bag, just like that. And came with a metal guitar pick. I mean, it's, it sounds like metal. So there you go. Um, pedal-wise, I mean, layout-wise, it's pretty easy. You've got a uh, level control. And control 1, control 2, yep, and you've got a is it mode, model, and you've got a model control over here, which will scroll, scroll you through the other different sounds uh, within the pedal, so let's say for example you want to play Madhouse, you'd go to setting number 2 and that should give you the sound for Madhouse. Now basically all you have in here is a, um, a treble control and a bass control, that's really it. Um, and an on and off switch. Um, that's really it. It's pretty basic. But the one thing that I really do like about this pedal is over here um, you can send it directly to a mixer and it actually works pretty darn well as like a, a DI unit. It really does work quite well like that. Um, and it's also got a, um, a built-in noise gate. Like I've got um, my DBZ here in my hand and um, yeah, it's pretty darn quiet. Um, when I was using this at band practice, I did find occasionally like it would be okay, it'd be all nice and quiet, but as soon as you did something, it would just scream its ass off, like really, really high pitch feedback, which wasn't you know too fantastic. But um, anyway, so let's go to setting one. Okay, so this should be um, I am the law. Now I don't know how to play I am the law, but. <laughs> The output of it's pretty extreme as well. You can see I've got the output, you know, below half. Uh, and I'm also using my Marshall Class 5, so the clean sound should be. And that's a uh, Seymour Duncan Invader in the bridge. Um, being that it's a digital pedal, it will sort of suck the life out of your batteries. That's a little bit better. So that's a little bit of a consideration if you ever find one or you think about buying one, it will suck the life out of your batteries. Um, but there's just the basic sound. So um, apparently when you have these two controls straight up, it should sound like what was on the on the recording, but play just that open E. So that's your bass control. Out. I think that sounds a little better, it doesn't sound as woofy if I turn the bass back the other way. That's pretty woofy. But um so high control. Takes the highs out. more high end, bring them back, let's say to neutral, position two. So this is supposed to sound like um, the song Madhouse. <laughs> 
So I think still pretty woofy. So I think take the bass out. <laughs> Bass back up. Bass back to neutral. Take the treble out. Okay, so that's your madhouse setting. The one thing I really do like about this pedal, it is built like a brick shed house. It really, really is built well. Um, position three, so this is our March of the SOD. Okay, so same thing, take the bass out. back up to about three quarters. Okay, but treble down. And you know, like that's with the output absolutely cranked and it's still really quiet. Bring it back down about there. Okay, so we'll go to position four, what's this one? Protest and survive. I don't know the song. Instantly a lot more mid-range. Um, yeah, not a bad sound. Uh, so I'm going to take a lot of the bass out. Bring up the bass. Okay. Triple down. A lot of the, the high end on this pedal, you know, I think would sort of really perhaps not sit too well in a band situation. I think some of the highs are really sort of high end scratchy. If I bring it back. Yeah, it's not bad, that sits all right. I think some of the others, however, it might be like a little scratchy. Now this one is Room for One More. Never really learnt the song. I know the song, just never really learnt how to play it. Okay. Uh, when I was using this pedal a bit more regularly, um, I used to use this setting quite a fair bit. Um, I think for me personally, the, the bass wasn't as woofy. Treble wasn't a scratchy. Just sort of found it to be a bit more user friendly, but with that said, if you want a bit more treble. Take the treble out. But if we bring that back, take the bass out. Uh, so for me personally, I think I used to set it kind of like that. Okay, so we'll bring those back to neutral. Okay, so we have... 
what doesn't die. And it does capture the uh, the Randall sound pretty well, I think. It certainly sounds like the uh, the, the tone he had on that album. Um, what was it? We've come from. <laughs> Sounds like a Randall. Take the bass out. Bass up. Yeah. Triple down. This was never really my favourite setting on this pedal. It sounds like the album though, or the guitar tone off that album. But, this is where shit gets all fucked up. I thought this was really crazy. Um, the song uh, Finale, check this out. I'm just playing an E5 chord. Oh, I just thought that was the sickest thing. I oh, just thought that was sick. Especially I can play some more. Sick. Um, I can't remember now. What does this one do? This might be a speed control. No. All right. So this will go. I don't know how many oct octaves low. But it will go freakishly high. Got a built-in whammy. How cool is that? Um, so, uh, so obviously that's um, kind of like a pitch control. Whether the effect is going to go up or down. This one will be the time setting. Obviously a lot quicker. Much longer delay. So when closing. That's the Scott Ian Black 13 pedal by Digitech. Um, if I back up a little bit, it's built really well like a lot of you know the other Digitech series. Um, really well built. Now the one thing I liked about it was if you pop that little pin there and the one on this side, that comes off and that's how you change your battery on this thing. Um, really well built. Like I said, if nothing else, it will work as a fantastic DI. Just plug everything straight into the. Uh, the mixer output, um, yeah, it's not a bad pedal, um, certainly nothing wrong with it, um, I've had it for nine years now, never had a problem with it, um, but don't use it too much either, so, um, alright, so, heavy metal perspective, Scotty and a Black 13 pedal by Digitech.